Imagine a weapon so fast and agile that it can evade every missile defense system in existence, strike its target within minutes, and leave no time for a counterattack. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But this is no fiction. It's the reality of hypersonic weapons. At the forefront of this game-changing technology is Russia's Avangard, which has now been put on combat duty. First unveiled by President Vladimir Putin in 2018, the Avangard was hailed as a technological breakthrough, capable of outmaneuvering even the most advanced missile defense systems. But what does this deployment mean for the Russia-Ukraine war? How might it reshape NATO's defense strategies and impact the future of global security? Let's dive in and explore. On December 18th, 2024, Commander Sergei Karakayev of the Russian Strategic Missile Forces announced that a division stationed in the Orenburg region has successfully completed its re-equipment with the Avangard hypersonic missile system. Now, what makes the Avangard so groundbreaking? This missile is mind-blowingly fast, reaching Mach 27. To put that into perspective, that's 27 times the speed of sound, or over 33,000 kilometers per hour. At this velocity, it can cross continents in mere minutes, hitting targets before anyone can react. But speed is only part of the story. The Avangard's real game changer is its maneuverability. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, which follow predictable straight-line trajectories, this hypersonic vehicle can glide and change course mid-flight. This makes it a nightmare for existing missile defense systems, such as the US's ground-based mid-course defense or NATO's Aegis system to track or intercept. To top it off, the Avangard can carry a nuclear warhead with a yield of up to two megatons. That's enough destructive power to alter the landscape of any conflict dramatically. From a technical standpoint, the Avangard is nothing short of a masterpiece. Its cutting edge materials are designed to withstand extreme temperatures of over 2000 degrees Celsius during hypersonic flight. And when paired with intercontinental ballistic missile platforms like the RS-28 Sarmat, it boasts a global reach, capable of striking anywhere on Earth. The deployment of the Avangard hypersonic missile could significantly alter the dynamics of the Russia-Ukraine war. First and foremost, the Avangard serves as a powerful deterrent. Its ability to hit any target within minutes sends an unmistakable signal to Ukraine and its Western allies. Escalating the conflict further could lead to devastating consequences. Then there's its ability to target critical infrastructure, which is a real game changer. With its incredible speed and precision, the Avangard could strike command centers, energy facilities, or supply chains, effectively crippling Ukraine's defensive capabilities. And given the missile's maneuverability and speed, countering such an attack would be virtually impossible. Finally, there's the psychological factor. Just the presence of a weapon, as advanced as the Avangard, could have a chilling effect. It might undermine morale within Ukraine and cause hesitation among NATO allies about providing additional military aid. The thought of facing a missile that's nearly impossible to intercept could plant seeds of doubt even in the minds of the most steadfast supporters. The Avangard fits perfectly into Russia's broader military strategy, serving both as a powerful deterrent and a tool for projecting power on the global stage. Its deployment is no accident. It's a calculated move designed to solidify Russia's dominance in modern warfare. 
One key element of the avant-garde strength lies in its pairing with the RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, often nicknamed Satan II. The Sarmat is already one of the world's most powerful intercontinental ballistic missiles, capable of carrying multiple warheads and hitting targets over 18,000 kilometers away. When combined with the avant-garde, this system becomes even more formidable, giving Russia the ability to deliver devastating strikes anywhere on the planet with precision and speed. This deployment aligns closely with Russia's updated nuclear doctrine, which allows for a nuclear response to large-scale conventional attacks that threaten the state's survival. By putting the avant-garde into active service, Russia enhances its ability to enforce this doctrine, particularly against NATO or the United States. But the avant-garde is more than just a weapon. It's a message. Deploying such an advanced system is Russia's way of asserting its technological edge and challenging Western dominance in military innovation. This move bolsters Russia's negotiating position, not just in the ongoing Ukraine conflict, but also in broader global disputes. NATO has taken notice, and not without concern. Hypersonic weapons like the avant-garde pose a direct threat to NATO's current security framework. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, Hypersonic missiles can evade existing missile defense systems, leaving NATO vulnerable. In response, NATO has ramped up efforts to develop counter-hypersonic technologies. These include advanced radar systems capable of detecting hypersonic missiles early in their flight paths and directed energy weapons, like lasers, designed to neutralize them mid-air. However, these technologies are still in development leaving NATO with limited options in the near term. The deployment of the avant-garde marks a turning point in modern warfare. With its unmatched speed, agility, and destructive power, it's not just shaping the conflict in Ukraine, it's redefining military strategies worldwide. As the hypersonic arms race intensifies, the world faces a pressing question. How can we prepare for this new era of warfare while avoiding catastrophic escalation? Share your thoughts in the comment below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.